Head coach here from Montana State, thank you very much for taking the time and welcome to another year of Big Sky football with half the league basically in the top 25 or at least getting votes and uh, a league as strong as it's ever been, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. I think it's a reflection of uh, the recruiting job that that, uh, that has been done by the coaching staffs. So I think it's a reflection, quite honestly, of the cachet of the league that you spoke of. Uh, people recognize the brand of football that we play out here in the West. And, uh, you know, you also look at, uh, you were just interviewing, I think, Coach Ball from Northern Arizona, mm -hmm. one of my favorite guys in the profession, just a tremendous coach. And you look at him, Jay Hill, Troy, myself, Bobby Houck. I mean, these are guys all that come from, from Power 5 programs with a, with a long and, and, uh, and prestigious coaching pedigree. And, and uh, I think that elevates the level of competition as well. You guys finished very strong last year. You read about 500, then you won your final three games to get into the postseason. You, it, it's not easy to do that. You're, to grow toward the back end of the year speaks volumes a, a, about last year's team. How much do you think that carries over to this year? Yeah, you, you're always very hopeful that you you uh, you finish well and you build. build or you're there to build on something, and I think that. Um, you know, we've been a pretty good finishing team each of the year I've been here. We've dug ourselves some holes early, and some of us are really challenging non-conference schedules that oftentimes you don't have control over. There might be a team that you play in that, uh, you know, maybe you didn't think they were going to be quite as good as they were. And so now I think I have a better understanding of how to schedule at this level, and I think that's been beneficial for us. I'm really excited about the leadership that we have coming back. We've got a lot of playmakers on both sides of the ball. Our biggest question mark is going to be who's going to be the trigger man, mm -hmm. and that's always a big one. But one thing I think that, uh, that we've proven is that we can put just about anybody there and win games. And, I know Mitch Broad will tell you, don't throw the ball around behind me. He's our left tackle, and he's a pretty good player. And so um, I think that level of confidence that our guys have from having some success down the stretch will definitely carry over. Let, let's talk about that a little bit more. The quarterback position, Troy Anderson, what he's going to do, and what you think might happen there this year. Yeah, I think uh, you know clearly what we'd like to do is see uh, Casey Bauman or, 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 or Tucker Robig or Ruben Beltran emerge as kind of the man. And what I've told both those guys is, and all of those quarterbacks actually is that you know my evaluation isn't going to be based on your completion percentage in fall camp. It's going to be about who I feel like those guys in that huddle believe in. Hmm. And uh, I know this, uh, they have a lot of confidence in, in, in a lot of guys on our team, Troy being one of them. And so Troy will definitely have a role on offense. I know we, we've been getting a lot, of, a lot of ribbon about him being a preseason fullback. I'm like, well, yeah, not, they didn't have athletes, so I had to choose somewhere to put him. And I, but I also think that, that uh, says a lot about what people around the league think of him. Yeah, very highly. I mean, an incredible athlete, yeah. really. You know, he's able to play offense, but he can play defense. He make tackles. He can run the ball. He can throw the ball. But you've got this competition at quarterback now and, and actually kind of gives you guys a ton of flexibility, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it does. And uh, I think that one of the things that we've got to do is I, more quickly in fall camp than probably in the past, we've got to center on who that guy is mm -hmm. because we're going to have to build packages mm -hmm. uh, for, for other players, Troy being one of them. You finished fourth in the Big Sky in D last year. You were one of the four postseason bids. How do you keep good going there on defense? Yeah, I think uh, we were tremendous at taking the ball away down the stretch we were not very good at getting off the field on third down. Hmm. And I think that's the whole key for us. It's not so much improvement in scoring defense or uh, you know, you know, a red zone defense for us. I really think it's about third down efficiency. And uh, we've invested tremendously on our defensive line. We've got five guys that have started significant a number of games for us returning in the secondary. And uh, we're looking forward to, to taking that next step on third down. I think that's really the difference between us being that fourth team and maybe getting up into the top three. I was just talking to Chris Ball, like you said, and one of, one of his favorite numbers is turnovers. He mm -hmm. loves force and turnovers. One of the things you guys did extremely well, it, it's not so much what you did, it's what you didn't allow to happen. You did not allow a lot of sacks. You did not turn the ball over. You did not allow a lot of tackles for loss. Th that is not talked about a lot. It's not, you know, teams talk about turnover margin, turnover mm -hmm. differential, but not so much just hanging on to the ball and the stat of fewest fumbles allowed. That's really impressive. Yeah, I think... Uh we're not a real sexy team on offense at times, uh, but that's okay. Well, if you don't uh, make mistakes, yeah, you know, uh, in and of itself, right? I agree, and I think that one of the things that my job is as a head coach is to make sure that regardless of the competitive balance going into the game, I position our team to have a chance to win it in the mm -hmm. fourth quarter. And uh, if you don't beat yourself, oftentimes you'll have that opportunity. I want to ask you about the third phase. And I've asked all the coaches this, or I've tried to remember to ask all the coaches, the least discussed element and one of the most important kicking game, punt coverage, kick coverage. How is it for you yeah, this year? Yeah, so I don't think we were, we were where we needed to be on kickoff coverage last year. We're looking to improve in that area. We return all of our specialists for the first year since I've been the head coach at Montana State. Uh, a four-year, going to be a four-year starter at punter force and Jared Padmas, who's done a tremendous job 
particularly at pinning the ball inside the 20 yard line of our mm -hmm. opponent. Um, uh, Tristan Bailey, who's got a huge strong leg, had a 50 yarder against Western Illinois that ended up kind of being the game winner for us. And then our long snapper in Logan McDonald, and then we return both our punt returners and kick our turners. So I really feel like uh, in, in a year where uh, maybe there's some coin flip games, that's, that kicking game is going to be so crucial. And um, right now, it's knock on wood, we stay healthy, but we feel very good about what we've got coming back in that phase. You won those eight games last year. You, you got into the FCS playoffs. In this offseason, what do you want to see? I know you've got the, the QB mm -hmm. situation that you're working through. You have Anderson, fullback athlete, linebacker, mm -hmm. Troy Anderson. But what else? What is it you looked at on last year's team and thought, okay, we, let's do this and we'll win more than eight this year? Yeah, I thought, uh, I thought there were some depth pieces, especially with what we were losing from our senior class on the, on the offense and defensive lines. And so we addressed those, some through transfer, some through, uh, you know, bolstering through signing day. Um, and I really felt like, that uh, staying healthy was going to be a huge piece. And, I, and right now, you know, talking to our strength and conditioning guys, this, this is the most healthy team that we've had at this phase in the summer. And really, a, they feel like a well-conditioned team. And we're going to need that with a 12-game schedule. Yeah, but everybody's, all, everybody's talking about, oh, we've got to go to Bozeman that week. That's not going to be easy. Mm -hmm. I've heard multiple coaches say that. Yeah, well, I think the style that we play uh, isn't one that a lot of people like to play. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, it can hopefully you know, result in some good good times for us. Thank you, Coach. Thank, Thank you. For appreciate it, man. Pleasure to meet luck. you. Thank yeah. you very much. Thanks. Good to talk to you. All right. Just a couple of senior representatives for the Montana State Bobcats here in Spokane. Guys, great to talk to you. It's great to meet you. And you boys are supposed to be one of the postseason representatives you were last year and very well could be again. Kevin, I'll start with you. I know you feel pretty darn good about this year's team, don't you? Yeah, a lot of depth, a lot of returning guys on both sides of the ball, and it should be exciting here. All right, Jack Way, I want, I want your two cents now on, on your general outlook on, on this year's team. Uh, definitely a lot of depth. You know, uh, we got, we got, we got a, a lot of guys on the team that, are, that can play this year, and uh, we should be doing pretty well this season. Number one in the big sky in interceptions, tied. But per game, you were number one in the, inter, in, in the league in picks. How do some guys have a knack for pulling that ball down? You know, because at some point it's a 50-50 it's a deal, you're playing a little wide receiver, but some guys are just better at it than others. Some guys get pass breakups, some guys get picks. I have an advantage because I play receiver my whole life. Ah, there it is. So, I, you know, that, just having that background, it, it definitely helped me a lot. So you kind of feel like you know what they want to do before they do it. Sometimes, not all the time. <laughs> <laughs> when is it you feel like you got a guy? Uh, you know, just by watching his, his hips and how he comes off the ball. Um, he's either a, a speed guy or he's just, you know, a good route runner. So sometimes you can kind of tell that. And then uh, based off the quarterback's time and on certain routes, I can kind of tell. Off so that. you're watching the QB's eyes and his reads and then probably a lot of scouting, right? Yeah, definitely. There's a lot, there's a lot of, you, you do need to know what's coming pre-snap to a degree. Yeah, uh, watching a lot of film helps that a lot as well. All right, now your, your boy Kevin over here is kind of a do-it-all guy too because he's doing punts, he's doing kicks, he's a wide receiver, one of the captains. Do you have something that you feel like you're best at? <laughs> I feel like I'm pretty well-rounded. He, he feels like you've got something you feel like you're best at. Let me hear, what is it? You would think it is. His releases. His, okay, all right, that's pretty specific. Is that fair? <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's fair. Yeah. yeah. So you're, okay, so, but you, you were going to answer. I don't want to Um, you. I'd say... I think I can throw the ball pretty well. Oh, wait no, I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I think I'm a, you know, like you were saying, I kind of pride myself on being a good route runner and um, uh, getting off the ball and stuff. 55 catches, a mm. few touchdowns last year, about 650 yards, just, just shy of it. Very productive last season. And what's going on with the QB spot this year? What do you think? Yeah, so a um, couple guys are going to battle it out this year. Mm -hmm. um, younger guys, uh, well, no, not a ton of experience, but guys that can definitely get the job done. And, um, we're excited to see who um, steps up, and um, I think fall camp will be the time we'll be able to tell that what happens. You will have pretty good insight into it because mm -hmm. you're the guy receiving the football from mm -hmm. these guys. H how much have you worked with all of them already, and, and who do you already kind of know? Yeah, um, you know, Tucker got some playing time last year mm -hmm. and um, did a good job. I think that's actually helped him out a lot. I think it will benefit him. And um, just throwing around with Casey and whatnot during the summer, and uh, he actually got in um, last year for I think a series, and I think his first completion was a knee, so that's <laughs> always pretty good. So um, yeah, it'll be it'll be really interesting to see who wins that battle, and um, I'm sure it'll be a tight race, and uh, we'll, 
Hopefully we'll figure out who's, who the guy is coming up pretty soon. Jacquez like, I play D. <laughs> I hit people and make interceptions. Whoever's throwing the ball, not my concern. Yeah. I do what I do. Fair? Yeah, fair. Yeah. <laughs> Troy's switching over though, right? Yeah. To, yeah. To, to the linebacker spot, making some tackles. Heck of an athlete. Yeah. That's not easy to do. Uh, you know, I definitely appreciate Troy as a teammate. You know, he kind of does what you need him to do. Uh, I feel like uh, for the pass rushing, he'll definitely make it a lot easier for us on, on the back end. But, um, you know, he's full of surprises. So, honestly, I don't even know what he's going to bring this year. So, nobody can ask me anything. So, <laughs> I, I, I'm just excited for him to play with us on that side of the ball. You guys did something that's hard to do, and that's finish strong. You know, everybody's healthy to start. Everybody's, relatively speaking, pretty fresh, fresh as one might be after camp. But you won the three straight games to get into the postseason. What do you think? Uh, I'll start with you. What do you think, Kevin, led to that and, and allowed you guys to finish strong, which mm -hmm. is in football way easier said than done, and maybe the whole key, kind of peaking late? Yeah, totally. Um, I think it's the mentality that this coaching staff has brought. Hmm. And, um, you know, Coach Choate's made that um, very clear to us that finishing is, you know, more important than even the start. Mm -hmm. And um, there's definitely were some games and some, some times where we didn't start the best, but um, finishing is is so important and we've kind of implemented that into our winter conditioning workouts and even here throughout the summer so uh yeah i think it starts with the coach staff and the mentality that they've they've brought because a couple years ago when i first got here um even with the guy guys and the dynamics i don't think it was like that but hmm. definitely now it's it's changed and they've definitely changed the culture jack what are you saying what helped you guys finish strong oh uh, you know just always being counted out a lot of people don't like being counted out so hmm. you know when you want to prove your point you, you finish strong you hmm. know when somebody tell you, tells you you can't do, do something, you end up doing it. So that's, I feel like that's how we finished our, you, our season up. You feel like maybe part of it's just accountability. Yeah. And being able to, to do your job and, and being called out. I think Coach Choate said we're going to call guys out if they, don't, mm -hmm. if they don't do their job. You feel like he, he you know, follows through on that, I guess. Yeah. He definitely called me out in spring ball. <laughs> so. For what? Person thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, uh, y you guys are, are one of the preseason picks to go to the postseason. It's a heck of a league. Mm -hmm. I mean, week to week, I was, I've been talking to all the coaches all day, and, and, I, and I, I feel like you guys can agree. It's, there's no soft bottom mm -hmm. in this league. No, Is that definitely. fair to say? Yeah, no, definitely. Especially with Eastern going, um, playing in the championship. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, where's the hardest, hardest road game? I mean, Washington Grizzlies tough to play. <laughs> yeah, that or um, you know, Eastern's kind of weird to play at too with the red field and yeah. yeah, they've got a good little atmosphere there too. Is that odd, the red field? I did not play there. That oh, year, okay, so. right, right, right. Yeah. All right. Well, maybe you'll get a taste of that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you guys. Yeah, appreciate it. Great to meet yeah. you. Thank, Thank you, boys. You. Good luck. Thank you.